I will always, always love you for being part of Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu, for making yourself available. And I will always love you for all your comments, all your encouragement. You know, um, I'm excited. You know, I could tell. I mean, uh, it dawned on me today that I was trying to talk to someone and it dawned on me. The person was like, but it's on radio. I used to see you with uh, a yeah, phone. I was like, yeah, it's on radio and it's on TV. So it dawned on me today that Intimate Talk with Tolu or Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu happened to be one of the shows, I mean, I think first of its kind. First of its kind, very peculiar show, actually. I mean, on this show, I tread the dreaded path. Um, when I started, it wasn't that easy because, I mean, I have a lot of pastor friends. I have a lot of fathers, spiritual leaders who I look, whom I look up to, even up to now. People are very close to me. And there's this thing about, you know, people start asking you, Atolu, are you sure you're still born again? Ah, Atolu, how could you be saying all those things? Because people don't understand. We shy away from the truth a lot in this part of the world. And we we pretend a lot. We live, you know, people are living in bondage. People are living in, in fears, in agony, in tears, in pain, in sadness, instead of living their life to the fullest. Just because we are worried about what will the next person say. Now, I talk about sex on this show, and you understand that sex is, I was telling someone, even though professionally, it is believed that 75% of marital issues are sex-related. But I believe in Nigeria, 98%. Now, money, fine. We know that money is an issue. But I say this a lot of time. If your sex life is beautiful, you, you know, when you're having financial problem. Even though, you know, sometimes with financial issues, you don't feel like making love. You don't feel like having sex because you, 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 you are not happy. But at the same time, it could be a time, you know, the money is not there, but it could be a time to, you know, to lean on the shoulder of your partner, to cry on their shoulder, you know, to, to make love and be passionate about it, you know, to cast all your cares, you know, doing the act of love making and just let everything go. You know, that's why I could say, in fact, with what I'm seeing, I could say, I'm actually trying to run a poll now, you know, on Facebook, I'm trying to run a poll. I could say that about 98% of marital problems that people are having currently in Nigeria are sex-related. As long, as much as we don't want to talk about it, these things are there right on our faces. All right, so Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolo is a very peculiar show because we talk about these things that are affecting people deeply, intimate issues that nobody want to talk about. At the same time, I was trying to say this before I forgot, intimate talk with Dr. Tolu is also very peculiar because, I mean, I think this is the first of its kind show and it is only on Nigeria Info you could actually see stuff like this. So you could actually listen to me on radio, you could watch me live on TV, you could also go online and watch me live. I don't think there's any other show that I've been able to pull this. It is only on Nigeria Info, Wazovia Max, that you could get stuff like this. And it's all about making sure you're enjoying your life. It is all about making sure that you're living your life to the fullest. And really, I'm very passionate about it. I mean, those of you that have been following me know that Dr. Tolu is passionate about this. I want to see you enjoy your relationship. I want to see you enjoy your marriage. I mean, marriage shouldn't be endured it should be enjoyed of course there will be time of endurance but you shouldn't endure your marriage for the rest of your life and of course that is what a all a all a whooping all lot of people are doing currently in nigeria enduring staying in a bad marriage living a lot of people are living in a dead marriage living in a dead marriage and if you are living in a dead marriage forget it you can't put Pull yourself out of that marriage. You can't separate your life from that relationship that you find yourself. If you are in a dead relationship or in a dead marriage and you still you are still inside, there is no way you could separate your life. It's going to affect everything about you. And that is why this show is very, very, very peculiar. All right? Okay, so tonight I'm talking about I'm talking about uh, having sex and making love, the distinction part two, okay? Having sex and making love, the distinction part
part two. Okay, we started last week. I talked about it on Tuesday last week before we had uh, the open mic uh, Thursday last week. So I started this topic on Tuesday and I'm going to be concluding it tonight. I've said so much about this topic last week, Tuesday, about the introduction, what is sex, what is lovemaking. Um, I did the same thing. How do people learn how to make love? I talked about a whole lot of this. So I'm not going to be talking about all the introduction or the explanation i will just be going straight to my number eight point i've given you seven points on tuesday tonight i will be good that was last week tuesday tonight i will be giving you the remaining seven or eight points to differentiate between sex and love making all right if i should stay I would only be in your way all right before I go straight to uh, the topic of the night I'm gonna be giving you my tips uh, if you have been following this show you know that I want to make sure you are doing well all right your marriage is doing well. Your sex life is great and and sparkling and hot and spicy. And you are looking good physically, mentally, academically, spiritually. Every aspect of your life is doing well. All right. So that's why I don't want it to just be about your relationship. I, that's why I'm giving you my tips that I feel are going to be helpful in every other aspect of your life. So my uh, tips tonight are actually... Uh, lifestyle or you could call them beauty tips okay beauty tips i guess and these are going to be very useful i, I think for both male and female except for the father the females the female are more particular about looking good all right so my number one tip tonight says if, if you have under under eye bags you know like me i mean some people have this thing naturally you know so i think i i have that and i worried about it a lot until at the point i just feel come on <laughs> you know so but if you are like that you have under eye bags or all this dark cycle and it's giving you a dick most of this in this sense could be very stubborn all you need to do is to get your tea bag okay your tea bag you know the one you have used just throw it in freeze in, in your freezer you know your tea bag that you have used so, so that means it's wet already then store it in the freezer so what you need to do is get your cucumber cut it in half and grate it when you grate it massage it around your eye when you massage it especially probably when you want to sleep you know or a few minutes you could do it for like you know 10 minutes majorly 10 minutes but if you could carry it for like 15 minutes and then you wash it off before you sleep so grate your cucumber in i mean half cucumber grate it rub it uh, around that place you know massage it very well around your eye area then lie down and put the eye ba i mean the tea bag on top all right you will f you will find an instant difference in the way your eye look and feel it works i've tried it severally and it's going to work for you and then my number two tip for tonight is what i call instant face lift all right so for those of you that want you don't want wrinkle you want to lift your eyes these things are not magic actually you need to do them over and over so you see an obvious uh, results what you need to do is to wash your face with ice water all right very very good uh, wash your face with for some of us that like to bathe with hot water i don't think it's actually a good idea really because cold water is very good for your body all right for your face especially wash your face with ice water or simply rub a nice cube all right on your face then you beat your egg you know your egg beat it till it beat it very well you could use a whisker till it turns to white okay when it turns to white brush it on your skin on the skin of your face and let it dry when you feel the stretch in the skin then you can wash it so whisk your egg clean your face with cold water or very very cold water or rub it with ice block then whisk, whisk your egg till they get very white then rub it on the face leave it for like five ten minutes then wash it off it will help you with your face lift i hope you find those 
helpful. If you find my tips helpful, you could actually let me know by sending me a message to intimate talk with Tolu at yahoo.com. Intimate talk with Tolu at yahoo.com. And of course, if there's something that is bothering you, probably in your kitchen, your bedroom, about your body, or something, or um, stretch mark, whatever, sagging boobs, whatever that is bothering you, you know, lifestyle, whatever it is, and you want me to talk about. You might send me a message as well and say, Dr. Tolu, give me tips on how to solve this particular problem. And I will be talking about it on this show. And of course, you don't want to forget to talk to people you care about to tune into intimate talk with Dr. Tolu right away. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, over the week, one of my friends, we, we, we were just talking, okay, we went out. Uh, we had, we went out, yeah. And then we're just talking and she and then we started we got talking and we started talking about um uh, what i do you know like dr tolu you are really trying you know, tolu i mean she's my friend you are really trying you know this 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 and then she's like wow that's one of my friend that needs this your services you know this thing you do it's one of my friend that will actually need this i've never thought about it you know i feel so close to you so the point is, some of us, we get used to this show, and you know, there are people around you that are suffering, that are dying. You could see the way they are fighting in their marriage. You, could, you are always going there to help them to sort their problem. Why not uh, introduce them to this show so that it could assist them? Most of the time, you know, the problem that couples are having in this part of the world is, like I usually call it, like a conspiracy of silence. Nobody want to talk about it. People are dying in silence. So most time, when couples listen to my show, it's like, it's, it's like an opportunity to, uh, you know, help them to talk or to say what they're afraid to say. You know, so, so there are times I say stars and the wife will say, eh, hey, that's the problem. You know, she just mentioned it. And there are times I say stars and the husband is going to say, eh, hey, that's your own problem as well. So most of the time, issues that you are afraid to talk about, if you listen to intimate talk with Tolu as couples, you could actually resolve them. That's why after listening to my show, you notice that people, I mean, couples sit down and they have heart to heart talk. Issues that they've not been able to talk about for 10 years, 5 years. This, this thing I'm telling you, I've heard it. I don't want to say accountable because that would be ambiguous, but I've heard it separately, sep hundreds of times, you know, thousands. I mean, no, maybe not thousands, but hundreds of people telling me, Dr. Tolu, after your show, we have to sit down. After your show, we have to sit down. People are always trashing issues after this show. So if you care about someone, please introduce them to intimate talk with Dr. Tolu because it's going to help them to solve a lot of issues that they are baffling with. All right, so tonight we are talking about the difference, the, the, the distinction, the difference between having sex and making love. I did the same thing. A lot of people usually say, I want to have sex, I'm making love to you, I'm having sex with you. And they, they kept on thinking that they are the same thing. Whether we are having sex, whether we are making love, we are doing the same thing. So last week, I gave you seven points. I told you different things. You know, I told you that sex is purely physical, but love making involves a lot of emotional connectivity. And I told you that sex is pure, purely mechanical, all right, while love making is genuine of unforced. I also told you that you do not have to be in love with someone to have sex with them, but you cannot truly experience great act of love making without truly being in love with someone. Sex sees partners as objects, but love making sees partners as a person, as persons. Okay, sex is selfish. Love making put the satisfaction of the partner first. Number six, love making involves foreplay that gradually builds to climax. Sex doesn't give a damn. Number seven, you need to be vulnerable to make love. I think that was where I stopped last week, and I'll be starting with my number eight tonight you don't want to move a muscle I, I, i've been telling people on this show you should have blues music in your bedroom you know it, it's part of you know spices you could add to your sex life you know it's not just all the usual your quiet bedroom you could put some blues in your bedroom you, you should i i think every married couple should have you know a, a, a player uh, something or ipod or something that you could play there i mean you should have something like that in your bedroom whether it's a small speaker a speaker a um small player an ipod you should you sh or even if it's your phone you should be able to 
vocal blues that you could play during the act of love making so it's not just gonna be the usual boring the same style all the time so we are talking about the difference between having sex and love making like i said i am not going to be going to all the introduction of course so my, i'll go straight to my number eight i've told you i, I ran through the seven point that i talked about um last week tuesday and tonight i'm starting with my number eight that says love making involves getting down and dirty <laughs> i like the word love making involves getting down and dirty most time but when it comes to sex you could say you could actually say all sex it, it might not be correct but sex is more like having a quickie okay and like i said it doesn't mean that uh as married couples you should always be making love all the time no it could also be just sex it could be you know you just want to have it you know have a quickie probably on your staircase or <laughs> you want to um do it inside your car you have to you want to do it you know on top of your freezer <laughs> on the couch on the rug on the in the bathroom all right so all those kind of sex you don't need all the paparazzi that comes with love making all right so it doesn't mean that because you are married it, will, it should always be about love making you could also have sex all right but when it comes to the fact that all of it i mean everything about you is about sex you don't make love at all then there is a problem so uh, most couples that's what they do i mean you've been married for 10 years you've been married for 15 years you only as make love on one position only missionary because that's the one you love you know that's the one that help you to eat the right place and you, you are comfortable with it whether as a man or as a woman and you are not open to any other kind of style i mean <laughs> that gets boring of course so we are talking about what is the difference between sex and love making and then I, I, I have like 30 points, but I just try to, you know, see how I can reduce them. So I'm, I'm giving you like 15. So I've given seven, but I know, but it says love making involves getting down and dirty most time, but sex doesn't have to take so much time or doesn't involve so, so much energy. So you want to make love. You, you, love making is, is, it's, it's like just like I said last week, Tuesday just you you let go you let go of you're not holding anything back you know your mind your soul your body everything that's why love making is beyond physical i, I explained that on last week tuesday so everything about you is involved you can get it involves most time when you are making love it involves getting down and dirty so it's not just about you know you lie down lie down come on top you know you want to get down you want not to go on your new you know i, I said love making is like worship you know you, you want to worship your partner and i hope people don't get this wrong and start quoting uh, for me i, I just hope you understand what i'm trying to say it's like a three course meal you know you take your your your, your starter you take the main course you take the dessert that is a whole lot of time and a whole lot of a lot of getting down a lot of putting yourself like i really want to do this and it could involve like i said getting down and dirty so when i say dirty i am no i'm not saying dirty like oh you should be smelling or you should be um you should not be clean you know or poor hygiene i'm talking about dirty like there could be a lot of body fluids you know a lot of body fluids saliva um uh, calm discharge spam <laughs> squirting whatever you want to call it you know there could be a lot of fluid bodily fluid and you don't want to be like i mean when it's when you're making love you don't even care i mean all those things are like no no you you get used to them you get involved with them you don't feel like oh no i cannot use the mouth i'm using to pray to touch this thing you know? oh ah, i cannot use the uh, i ate i just ate saliva i just i just ate i cannot put my mouth in the man penis oh i cannot do this 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 come on when you want to make love all those all the back are not there it involves giving it your all sometimes getting down and dirty and this idea of i don't want him to think i'm a flirt i don't want him to think i'm useless i mean very 
very common in this part of the world. You will, you will pretend to be so only you are two, 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 two before you marry. And then you are still married, you are still pussy, you are still, who cares for crying out loud? Who cares? I mean, he is your husband, she is your wife. You don't have alternative. And then you're saying, no, I don't want him to think I'm a flirt. To, I don't want him to ask me where have I learned it from. Come on. And for the men too, because I know this is a major issue, that's why I have to mention it. For the men too, when a woman is putting an all, get it down and dirty. It is not the time to start saying, eh? how did she know all this? How did she learn all this? Come on. Come on. Even if she has known so much before she met you, you it is just the two of you together. That is the major reason a lot of people are holding back. So when you are making love, there is nothing like I don't I eat saliva, I don't want sperm to touch me, I don't I don't like to look at woman's vagina, I don't like to do this. You get down. That is love making. When it comes to sex, all those things you might be feeling. No, no, no! I don't want the body to touch me too much. I don't want her to see my panties. I don't want her to. I don't want him to see my bra. I don't want him. You know, all that could happen in sex. But when it comes to love making, it involves, it involves getting down and dirty most time. All right. My number nine says love making often leads to a part of mental connection, but when it comes to sex, it's all about physical connection this is close to my number one point last tuesday but the difference is the mental i i, I said that sex was is just physical last week but this one i'm talking about mental connection what this means is that when you make love to someone you know i told you that making love you know it start from if it doesn't start from that moment usually it start from the way you say goodbye in the morning when the person is leaving the house it, it starts from the way you send text messages. It starts from the way you ask them how they are doing. It starts from the way you hug yourself when you come back from work. It starts from the way you sit down, you relate a little part there, a little peck, uh, you know, a little, you know, a, a lot of bodily touch that is not sexual. You know, those are the things that put together to make love making interesting. So now, I, I, I talked about the father. You, 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 when you make, when you are making love to someone, when you, you your eye is seeing so much, even when you are not talking, we are looking at a person. It, there is possibility of the person feeling what you are feeling inside. We are looking at your eyes because of the way you look at the person. The person could feel it. It could touch your partner. Could touch the way you feel from your eye when you make love. Now all those contacts. You know, when you look at each other's when you make it, not like just boo, 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 you do it and you stand up. You don't want to even see the person's eye. But when you make love to someone, you want to look at the person's eye. You want to look at their reaction. You want to see how they feel. And when the person leaves you, you can replay these things on your head. Mental reunion, you know, mental connection. The person is not there. You think about the person, you just feel like you are making love all over again, and you just smile. All right, so you could, you could, you could, you get connected. You can't pull the person away from your head. But when it comes to sex, you can't even remember how the face is looking like. You can't even remember what kind of, of, of how, 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 how is she looking, what kind of hair, what kind of. You can't remember. But when you make love to someone, you can replay it over and over. The, it is established in your brain. Love making bring a kind of mental reunion. That is why I encourage poor couples to, you know, forget this act of having sex all the time. Start, I encourage you to start making love. Because when you deeply making love, when you get down, like I said, when you are away from each other, you can't keep rewinding you can keep thinking about the good time you have together but when it's about sex there is no kind of emotional connection you can enjoy it at the moment you could feel it but it's just physical as soon as you are done you are done that is why sometimes you know when people just want to like have a quickie or you know let me just uh sleep with this person and you, you just notice that w when you do that you, you just notice that you can't get the person out of your head. You know, you just want to have sex. But you just notice that you get connected to that person. That means you have crossed the line of having sex to the point of making love. You are, you are already getting connected to the person in your brain. Mental reunion. That is what love making does. When it comes to sex, it has nothing to do with that. Number 10, having sex is all about enjoying the moment. 
love making is like a seed that is being planted to germinate in the future when you have sex it's all about let me just let me just i want to feel good i want to just enjoy it now at the moment that's all but when you make love it's like you are planting a seed you know you want to you want to keep you want to keep it's like you want to you're not making it it's a form of um a, a form of fertilizer that you are added to your relationship to make it grow so your love making is not just physical it's not just because you want to come it's beyond you want to come when you have sex you just want to come you want to feel good it is all physical but when you make love it is you are thinking about the future you are thinking about the next time that this kind of thing is going to happen you are thinking about the kind of bond how do you grow with this person now what kind of bond do you share with this person it's it's like you are you are using that thing to um to establish every other part of your relationship you know that is why i said this a lot of time sex is very powerful you know i call it sex now in context okay sex is very powerful and you notice that if your sex is not doing well if your love life your sex life is not doing well you notice that it affects everything in that marriage it affects your finances it affects your physical it affects your productivity you're just acting you know you just notice that you're not pretty at your peak because of you those of you that are having erectile dysfunction premature ejaculation uh, frigidity no orgasm always fighting for sex and all that you could relate to this thing i'm talking about all right so when you make love it is it is a kind of a seed you are you are planting to 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 water you know to grow every me to grow every part of your relationship it is not just about that sex it's not just about that act you are using it as a seed to every part to your finances to your to to your social life to your performance in the office you know it's all of that but when it is about sex it is just about the physical contact and then about 11 deep feelings are involved in love making but when it comes to sex you don't have to have feelings for that person now and okay sometimes you could have feelings but it's not as deep as it is when you make love to someone when you make love to someone it, it, it means you know I, 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 I said this a lot of time kissing is like i mean kissing people see kissing like okay you just want to kiss i mean i've talked about kissing on this show kissing is like i mean putting your mouth in another person's mouth it's it's deep it's trust it's believing that you know i could i could give you my all I, you could you could take me all right the same way it is with love making when you make love you are telling the person, I don't have anything to hold back from you. You can take my all. My boots are sagging. My tummy is big. My they are stretch mark. Uh, my penis is not big. Uh, I think my size is small. I think I can't last more than three minutes. All your flaws, all your mistakes, you you are just you just open them up you feel vulnerable and you allow the person to see you just the way you are without feeling like oh oh hey oh this breast is not looking good oh this thing is not looking good oh this uh, my performance is not doing well oh i can't last for 10 minutes no when it comes to love making you allow the person to take you the way you are without holding anything back trusting the person that the person will take you just the way you are all right it involves a lot of deep feelings and that deep feelings makes you to be vulnerable makes you you get con you are connected to that person beyond physical level all right and then number two of making love is an art formed by two people with deep feelings like i said and emotions for one another okay it's a giving behavior with commitment and care and when it happens between two people it forms a like I said before. It forms a major role in playing. I mean, it, for, it plays a major role in forming a strong relationship. Now, the point I'm trying to make here is, you know, it is, it is love making is about giving and commitment. Now, why sex is all about taking. Love making is about giving and commitment. Sex is about taking. 
sex just want to take just just i mean you know most of the time that's why ladies <laughs> i don't know it look like the tables are turning anyway but the truth of the matter is when when people you know you can see guys you know talking among themselves that ah i'll taste that girl you know they are betting and all they want to do is not because they care it's not because of anything they just want to sleep with with the lady you know no commitment you know they just want to mark the okay i've done this those are sex you you are having sex with that person but when you want to make love to somebody you could you could even wait for eternity for the person when it's not about sex, you could wait. The person is saying, I don't want to do it for now. You're saying, okay, fine. Whenever you are ready, we could do it. Because it's about giving. It is not about taking. Love making want to make sure that the partner is satisfied first. Love making is not thinking about, I need to come, I need to come. Love making want to make sure that it is the satisfaction of the partner that is paramount. Whether you are male or female, it doesn't matter. You're, you want to make love and you are thinking what is in your head is I want to make sure my wife come. I want to make my wife scream. I want to make her enjoy it. I want to see her come over and over. That is what is in your head as a man. And as a woman you are looking at I want my husband to enjoy this. I want to make this quality love making. I don't just want him to come. I want him to come explosively. Alright. So it is about giving. It is not about taking for you as a person. So at the end of the day you know what it means. Um, the, 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 the one partner is ready to give and the other party is ready to give. It means that both giving and taking will be balanced. I, I hope you get that. Alright? Then my number 13, love making are the sense of security and belonging why sex does the opposite love making add a sense of security and belonging why sex does the opposite okay so love making is making you to feel like i'm secured i belong to this person but when you have sex when you are you are when you are not with that person you start regretting you start feeling why did i do it what kind of problem is this why did i involve myself you start regretting because you don't feel a sense of belonging but when you make love to someone it's at the point of like you feel secured you feel you feel you you belong to that person you feel a sense of belonging you know that's why when young people who are single uh, when they call me and like oh dr tolu i uh, beg her I kept begging her she's not interested in sex and even when i force her to do it or when i tell her okay please please and then she later agreed to do it she just lie down there she says she's not enjoying it and i tell them most time when it comes to not sex now when it comes to making love really getting down and dirty like i said the female mind especially the way we were groomed in this part of the world the female mind needs the security the marriage or at least you know a, a kind of proposal the security that it can give you know they need it to be able to get to that point that is why if you are single and you are begging her and you are struggling and she's saying no i don't like it i don't want it because she's not feeling that sense of security that is why in marriage i still wonder why people few people i mean people are having this kind of problem where, where they still get married that they still find it difficult to let go i mean to let down their guards they still find it difficult probably because majorly because of religious and cultural belief they still find it difficult but the truth is, the, 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 when you make love to someone, you have a sense of belonging. You feel secured. You don't feel used. All right? And then number 14, post-sex cuddling or call it post-lovemaking cuddling gives a happy ending to lovemaking. But for sex, you might as well dress up yourself and expect no affection after, after the act. Okay, so... Now, you did a lot before you start making love. I mean, at the beginning of your love making, we, we, like I said before, love making involves a lot of foreplay. You know, a lot of your your five senses are involved. You know, when you want to make love, that's one of the points. I, I'm not sure I wrote that down. You must understand how to use your five senses. I mentioned it on Tuesday. Your sense of sight. You know, we all taught, we all learn about I'm, I'm going to be taking a topic on how to use these things you know how to use your five senses to make love your sense of sight the way you look your eyes says a lot the way you look at the partner your sight your sense of smell 
okay? The way you smell, and then your sense of um, touch. You know, there's a way you touch someone, and you know, while, while we were young, you know, in primary school, you get uh, uh, like this foul um, chicken feather, and then you know, you use it to touch the person's skin, you know, slowly. You know, you should be able to train yourself to a level where your palms. Your fingers are touching someone. The person feel that kind of sensation. All right. So you should understand how to use your um, sense of touch. Then the sense of taste. I mentioned this and I, <laughs> and then the only other doubt people, you know, I don't want to go into that anyway. Your sense of taste. Which other one? Taste. Hearing. You know, the moaning, the talking and all that. You want to use all of that. So. Now, you do all this, you make use of all this, you know, at the, at the pre-sex, you know, act of love making, you know. You do all that, you know, the kissing, the touching, the looking, the necking, the pecking, the affection, you do all that. And then you, before you get down into the act, you give your head, you blow this mind away, whatever. And then you penetration. I'm going to be talking about the five steps of love making. You know, one of these days, you know, stages of love making. All right. So you do all of that, and then when you now get to the um, when you now get to the act of you know you now get down. You know, probably you have spent like an hour. Uh, like and I said that last Tuesday, Tuesday last week Tuesday that love making takes longer period of time than sex. All right. So probably you have lasted for. I'm not saying you you penetrate and for an hour. Okay. Maybe you know the kissing, the foreplay, and all that. Everything put together. You spent like 30 minutes or one hour, and then or 40 minutes, and then you want to end it all. And after you have come or you have ejaculated, and then the next thing you start sleeping. No. You do every other thing that you did in the beginning when it comes to the art of love making. You still want to look at the person. You still want to peck the person. You still want to pat. You see, that thing, that thing. Men, I think I need to let men understand this. That thing does a whole lot for women. That thing, that act of affection after love making. You finish making love to her. You still look at her face. You look at her face, you draw her closer, you rub your hand on her head, you give her a little bit of kiss, you tell her, I love you, baby, you are sweet. You know, you say stuff like that. You know, the post, the post love making, all the affections has to be shown. But when it comes to sex, you could as well, as soon as the person has ejaculated and you, you have come, coming is not even an issue. Maybe the men will always come before a woman. <laughs> when you have sex, I'm not married. Maybe. The person can eat the right spot very well. If not, it might be difficult to, 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 to come when you just have sex. All right? So, after having sex, you might as well pick up your clothes and start wearing it by yourself. So, all the pecking, necking, and affection, I love you, you are sweet. Forget all those talk when you are having sex. It only happens in love making. And then, so the post sex cuddling, the possess, uh, post sex cuddling uh, affection are not involved most time when it comes to sex. And then number 15, which is my final point, then I could take your questions, your comments, your problem you are going through in your relationship, in your sex life, and in your marriage, all right? Okay? Okay, so my number 15 says, love making most time involves a lot of pre and post sex talks beyond money and screaming during the act okay now when you want to make love now two things these points are in two ways when you make love you want to moon you want to talk you know say oh babe i i remember a lady wrote to me i i, I never knew you know there are certain things i see you know because of what i do and i will be like ah I thought everybody understand that. I said I thought it's 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 a common knowledge. I think it's something everybody knows. You know, there are certain things I will talk about, and other people will start telling me, "Doctor, to know that thing." I will like, ah, ah. I thought everybody knows. You know, I thought it's common knowledge. I, so I remember the lady wrote to me. And said, uh, Dr. Tolu, please, my husband is always complaining that I don't talk when we make love. What are the kind of words? Because I'm shy, and most women are very shy. Even when they are joining, they can't talk because they are shy. You are shy for your husband. <laughs> now you, Sabio, 
you know. So she was like, Doctor Tolu, I, I, I just got married and, and we are young. And my husband is always complaining. I mean, I even, I'm even happy that the man can talk. So men will not even talk. You know that baby, you are not saying something, and and then she was like, "Doctor, please, can you? I don't know what to say, even though I'm enjoying it, but I don't know what to say. Can you just tell me, teach me some of the words?" I remember posting it on my Facebook page, and you know, and then I wrote certain things, and people, hey, that's what I told you. But of course, some guys were giving a lot of points on what you could say oh babe i love you you are giving it to me i love the way you are touching me you are eating it the right way give it to me baby oh gosh oh my god you know all those kind of talk all right so all those are involved when it comes to the uh, act of love making and it, do, it looks passionate it comes straight from your heart it is not you are not faking it you know the person you are saying those things can't feel it can't even see it from the way you are seeing it. But when it comes to sex, you know, it could be like, oh, fuck me hard. And, you know, the kind of language is totally different. I hope you just get this, you know, and you don't mix it up. You know, don't mix it up like I say, you could also, you could also make love and say, fuck me hard, right? But when it's becoming too raw, you know, it's just like about fucking, 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 I mean, then it becomes a problem, all right? Becomes too raw, it becomes a problem, all right? And beyond that, when you want to make love, you could talk about your relationship, about how much you feel for each other. Babe, you know, I just love you. You could hold each other. Some I say, babe, I love you and you mean so much to me. You know, I can't do without you. And I just I just want to be always be around you. You know, you could say a lot. You could talk about your business. You could talk about stuff. You know, that you know, there are certain things that are bothering your mind. Before the act of love making, probably you could just sit down before you start thinking of making love and talk. And even after the act of love making, probably while you are resting or before you sleep, or maybe when you sleep and wake up, you could say, Oh, you could still talk about every other thing that affects your relationship and your life generally. But when it comes to sex, all those talk are not evolved. You get down, you do what you have to do, and you get up. All right, so now. That's all my point, but the point, like I said, is these things are interwoven, all right? It doesn't mean that you could you only be making love because you are married. You could have sex, you could have quickie, like I've said. You could do it, you know, just quickly do it, and you could do all these characteristics of sex. But when all the characteristics of love making is missing in your life, then something is wrong, all right? So I hope you have been able to find this point helpful. And of course, uh, we'll be going on a short break. Probably I'm going to play this boys to men song again. Then I will come back to answer your questions. You don't you don't want to move a muscle. So whatever it is you want to ask me about your relationship, about your sex life, about your marriage, about or you want to make a comment, you could ask me after this timeout. All right. Uh, good morning. Uh, good morning, Dr. Tolu. You're welcome. I want to really thank you, greet you for defiling all the odds. <laughs> it's not been easy. To, 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 to make this program. <laughs> thank you. Saying the untold. <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you. I want to really thank you on that. Thank you. For you have taken the bold step. Thank you. Like you said earlier. <laughs> These are the things that is bothering us within the family, among the family, and every other, between husband and wife, and every other thing we pretend about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Mm -hmm. This is, a, a, as it is now, this is 21st century. All right. A millennium. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's an enlightened society now. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we will continue to live on the past. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's let people talk. Yeah. Like what you have said, I've been listening to this program, but I have noticed the first time I tried to call you. Wow, thank you really so much. I'm glad you called. Tell you that <laughs> you are very much amazing. Thank you. You thank are you. amazing indeed. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and I thank you so much. Thank you so much for what calling. I do give you the sense. Amen. To really tell us what is lacking in us. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank I, I, you. I, I, I'm in order with your 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 your, your program, the foreplay, the every other thing. In short, I, 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 I say kudos to myself. Thank you. What you have said. Thank, Thank you so much for calling. Thank you. I'm glad you called. Thank you so much. Hello. 
Hello. Yes, good morning. Hello. I can hear you. There's feedback actually. Good morning. Good morning. I can hear you. Okay. Hello. Sorry, you might want to call back. Hello? 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 And you, you, you could hear the feedback yourself, right? And I don't want to cut you off. Uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Good evening, madam. Good evening or good morning. Yeah, my name is Johnson. Okay. Yeah, I'm calling you from MDI here. Okay. Yes, um, I've been listening to your program and um, I want to say it's been very helpful, not just for me. Mm. Oh, I believe for uh, a number of persons listening to mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, in fact, I, like two days ago, I was with a friend. We've okay. been friends for a while. Okay. We, she got married not too long ago, and um, it's not been going according to plan. Mm. And whilst we were talking, she just burst into tears, and she was like, nobody told her a lot of things. Wow. You know, wow. and everybody's like blaming her for the issues she's having in her marriage. In fact, let me just make it straight. She actually has broken up in her marriage, just two years' marriage. Wow. And the biggest challenge happens to be, their sex life. Yeah. That's crazy. As in, you, you made mention of it as 98% of um, relationships we have broken up uh, as a result of poor sex life. Yes, yes. And I think it's very true. It's very true because these persons were very beautiful people. You know. But the sex life was not just standing. You know, and the problem along, we have you know? is we won't, we won't seek for I me. Mean, somebody called and was like, my wife is not making love to me. I said, what have you done? I've called her pastor. I've called her mom. I, I was like, I mean, talk to a sex therapist for crying out loud. We don't even know the right thing to do. You know, it, it's, it's a big issue, really. It, it is. It, it is. is. It is. I, 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 I just had to listen to you. I've heard the advert of this program for a while. So I thought, okay, let me just stay awake today and listen to Oh, is this, this your first time of listening? Yes, this is my first time of listening. Wow. To you. It's very beautiful. All right, thank you. I probably will have to stay awake every Tuesday. To <laughs> All right. Thank Maybe you so much. Yeah, right. thank you for calling. I'm glad you did. Hello? Hello. Good yes. morning, Dr. Good, Tolu. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Just like everybody else is saying, I just want to thank you very much for this wonderful program. Thank you. So, Doctor, please, I have a problem. Please, <coughs> please go ahead. Um, I have a problem of this itching. Okay. And, yes, itching under my under my lungs. And I, I, I went to... The doctor the other time, so they gave me some medications in which I use it, but all to no avail. The problem still, though it's not that much, but if you examine it, you can see that it's still there. Sometimes when I take a look at it very well, I see how the whole place, some of the places are red and some some places peeled out and something like that. And I try I I I visited the doctor but in short the whole thing couldn't just help. I don't know. Please, I, know. I mean the, the answer I'm gonna to give to you is still you still need to did you run the test? And actually, no, they did not run any. You tests. need to. They need to. They need to. I mean, you don't just look and tell the person who I think is this and that, even though the doctor has experience, you know. But the right thing to do is to run a test and find out what is wrong, you know, instead of just thinking maybe it's this or this or this. Please, you might need to see a gynecologist. You might need to see a gynecologist. Run a test. Let them okay. find out if it is medical. Or if it is lifestyle, if, if it's a woman now, and I could easily say, oh, this could be a lifestyle issue. Could be this and this and this are the things you could do. But for a man, I think you really need to schedule a proper appointment with a gynecologist. Let them run a test for you and probably tell you if the problem you're having is medical or if it's if it's if it's lifestyle. If it's, do you understand? Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Thanks for calling. All right. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Okay. Hello. 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 I don't think that line is very good. Hello. 
Hello? Hello, hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm actually watching you live on the Nigeria, on the, is it Nigeria? What they call it? The yeah. Wazobia Television. Okay. My name is Jake. I'm calling you from Ayobo area of Lagos State. Okay. Thank you for calling. Honestly, I have been following you for quite um, um, a while now. Mm. But I must tell you, mm? mm-hmm. this program is used. Mm. It's quite informative, mm. totally educating. Mm. I just want you to give it up mm. and give it up. If possible, I would want to see more of it. Maybe three times in a week. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, I just want you to... I don't know exactly how to put it, but I think you are doing good thing. Thank you. You are helping a whole lot of us. Like what you have just said today, like the issue of love making, differentiating it um, with uh, sex. Honestly, it's something I know about, mm. but I don't know about it today. Mm. Thank you. Thank you and keep it up. You're welcome. Bye. Thanks for calling. <laughs> right, guys, now you're making me to blush. <laughs> So please, if you have any issue, you want to ask me a question, whatever it is that, you know, is keeping you up at night, giving you sleepless night, that is not making you to sleep, making you to wet your pillow, and there's no one to talk to about it. Please, you could lean on my shoulder tonight. Let's talk about it. Okay? Hello? All right, sir. That line is going off. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. You might want to speak up. Good morning. Good morning. Your my name is Omar. Your name is? Hello. Hello. You say your name is who? Okay, so. Sorry. I think I lost that. Hello. 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 Yeah, you want to turn off your radio. Okay. Okay, so I lost you there. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, good morning. I've been calling. Okay. You say it's giving me this baby. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, my name is Chibike. I'm calling from Lekki. Okay, Chibike from Lekki. You're welcome. Uh, I've been listening. I have this personal problem. Because uh, things have not been going well, you know. I've been doing this. I have been doing this. I didn't know what to do. Well, this is why things have not been going well. So, uh, okay. so you are talking about your finances, right? Right. Okay, so if it's about sex, if it's about marriage, it's about relationship, you could talk to me. But I think you could talk to, um, there's a show on Nigeria Info, 10 a.m., Monday, Monday okay. to Friday, yeah, 10 a.m., Monday to Friday. They talk about business, they talk about opportunities for, especially, it's, it's majorly around business and finances. So I think you okay. might need to tune into that show and talk to them. Okay. I think they will be of help. By 10 o'clock, right? 10 a.m., yeah, Monday to Friday. We tell you. Thank you. I have, I have, I have to speak. I have to speak. Thank you so much for calling. Right. Hello. That line, this line. Hello. 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 Yeah. Good evening. Good morning, actually. Good evening. How are you? I'm well, and you? I'm okay. Fine, thank you. I really appreciate for your work you are doing. Thank you. I really appreciate it. very good and advisable. Thank you. For the way you are doing is so interesting. I'm thank very you. Interested thank you. Okay, I love the appreciation. I love that. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I can't find the right adjective. I'm very passionate about this, and I'm happy that you are getting better. Your relationship is getting I understand these things. 
I understand how this could impact your life, your 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 every other aspect of your life. But thank you guys for calling me for saying thank you. It made me know that I'm doing something. But at the same time, I would like you to call me if you have issues that are bothering your mind. All right, so that I could answer you. I could still take like two or three calls before the end of the show. Hello. Oh, sorry, I lost that. Hello. Hello. Okay, I think I might want to. Okay, hello. Hello. Yeah. Good. Uh, good morning. Good morning. My name is uh, Jamal from Kora State. From. Kora State. Okay. Good morning. Yeah, I just want to know what could be happen when a man is touching a woman and said he should not touch her. You know, some kind of, but just going to a set street instead of touching her. She just said, come and do, come and do, and let me go. Mm, just, <laughs> do, do. just do, 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 and let me go. Mm, of course, I mean, a lot of marriages are in that situation. You want sex, come and have it. Just do, yeah. you know. Yeah. So you're having quantity, you're not having quality. <laughs> <laughs> But I feel uh, it, it's there are a lot of reasons. I mean, she might not be enjoying it. She might be angry with you. You might know maybe there are unresolved issues. There could be the fact that she's not enjoying it. Like I said, majorly that is a major cause. She's not enjoying it. There could be unresolved issues. She could be overwhelmed with a lot of activities. Things could be bothering her mind. So a lot of reasons. I've talked about sexual. There was a topic on this show that I talked about sexual turn off for women. So you might yeah. uh, you might actually go to my website and download that. I, I'm working on maybe between now and month end, you could actually download all these topics too. If you read sexual turn off for women, there's sexual turn off for women, there's sexual turn off for men. There are about 10, 15 yeah. points of different, different. So I can't just tell you that, oh, this is what is wrong with your wife until I talk to her, I might not know what is wrong. But there, I'm just mentioning there could be possible reasons why she's behaving like that. And until you find out, you might not be able to solve the problem. So, all right. All right. Thanks for calling. <phone rings> Try. And that person has been trying. Okay. Okay. I can see take some more calls. Hello. Hello. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you. I've been listening to your program, and it's my first time calling. Oh, I'm glad you called. Yeah. Yeah, I'm John, calling from Lekki. Okay, thank you for calling, John. You want yeah. to say something? Yeah, I want to say something, but I, just let me give you a brief of it. I, I am 42 years old, and then I'm not married till now. Okay. And things are not really going well. I'll be trying my best to put things right. And I felt I'm listening to your program, and this is the first time I, I just encourage myself to call you. I'm not that type I talk to people like that. Mm -hmm. Like find out this, um, your, how do I put it? Sure. So let me just discuss with you and then you can tell me how to go about it. Things are not really going well. I've been trying, I've been trying. I believe when I can meet you one-on-one, -on -one, I can be able to explain myself very well. Okay. Um, yeah. No, I, um, I'm a matchmaker. I'm, I'm sure if you have okay. been listening, you know that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm calling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I don't do sugar mommy, sugar daddy. People know that. But of mm. course, you are 42. You are not looking for sugar mommy. No, at but, all. But, at but all. I understand there are, some, there are some peculiar situations that I've been able to deal with. That you know that okay. this person is not like, what I call an NFA, like no future ambition. You know, this person okay. is struggling. This person is making effort. But maybe, you know, I tell people that if you have a good woman by your side, a lot yeah. of men can testify to that, that the speed of your life is going to increase, you know. Okay. It's the truth that instead of pursuing money, sometimes you want to get a good woman. Money is good, fine. Yeah. But if you, if you make all the money, you marry a bad woman, forget it. 
But if you don't have yeah. money, if you marry a good woman, you could be shocked that things could turn around. It is just because yeah. of, you know, the kind of circumstances that a lot of women have been through in this part of the world. It makes them yeah. not to run on, like, support men. Like, okay, let's come together. But I've been able to help one or two people like you, who I know are actually making effort. Not that they're after any ladies' money, but maybe things are not mm. just working out. And I could get a lady who is willing to, like, okay, let's work together. I'm going to marry you. Let's join us together. Let's partner together. And let's see how we yeah. can grow ourselves. All right? So I've been yeah. able to do yeah. that for a few people, and it has worked. But before I can do that for you, I must be very convinced that, no, this person is not really... Because I have a lot of ladies who are big. That's the truth. Who are big, who are made. Do you understand? Yeah. Just the same yeah. way I have men like that, you know. But, you know, sometimes there are men like you who might not have all the money. My registration for, for one-on-one matchmaking is 50K. I'm saying that now on air for the first time. So it's not cheap. Okay. But there are people that I don't even collect money from their hand. When I understand yeah. the the circumstances and all that, all right? yeah. okay, so, yeah. so I will drop my number, and uh, in fact, preferably you should send me a message on Facebook. Okay. Um, you should okay. send me a message okay. on Facebook. Explain that we we talked on my show, and you want to see how we could see because if you send to my number, my P. <laughs> <laughs> she will just insist you need to pay before you see Dr. Tulu. All right, so <laughs> my Facebook, I think it will be better. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right. okay. So I'll take care of yourself. Hmm? All right, all right. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the lines are still buzzing, but that is all I will be able to take on tonight's episode. I still have my food for thought to give you, and do not forget, like I said. On Sunday, I will be having a WhatsApp class for those who are learning how to make love. And of course, you could reach me, you could follow me on Facebook. If I, if I didn't answer your question on this show, you can drop them on my inbox and I'm going to answer you. So go into my Facebook, Intimate Talk with Tolu on Facebook. Just search for Intimate Talk with Tolu. On Instagram, is Intimate Talk with Tolu. You could also walk there and DM me your message. And on Twitter, is at ITWTolu, at ITWTolu. And of course, you could follow Wazobia Max and you can follow Nigeria Info on all the platforms. It's Wazobia Max and Nigeria Info 99.3 on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. We are there to answer all your questions. And like I said, you could uh, follow me. Okay, I've talked about that. And for those of you who want to join Saturday classes or you want to see me for one-on-one -on -one appointment, you could take down my number. People said I've been giving a wrong number. I don't understand. So let me look at this so I give you the right number tonight. It's 081 845 Whether you want to see me for one on one counseling sex therapy session or you want to join, you want to be a counselor and you want to join the class on Saturday, you can reach out to that number. And of course, you call, you want, have any question you want to ask, you want to sponsor this show you want to partner with us you want to do anything with us you want to be okay right i remember dating party yeah our dating party is going to be big it's going to be massive and it's coming up in october so save the date all of you that have been you are tired of asking me dr tolu when is the date? it's going to be october i'm going to give you the full date and the time in october so you could actually visit my website intimate solution network.com just the way i said it intimate solution network.com so before i go here is my food for thought for tonight my food for thought for tonight when we're in love the sight of the beloved as a completeness which no words and no embrace can match a completeness which only the act of making love can temporarily accommodate thank you for joining the fixer tonight i'm going to see you on thursday make sure you have make sure you have a very beautiful and romantic night to enjoy more of this our ugonke videos when you just watch Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.